welcome to Inside NRH. I'm your host, Mary Edwards, and today we're taking a look inside the Art in Public Spaces program. By integrating art into daily life, the Art in Public Spaces program beautifies public areas, improves our quality of life, and creates a distinctive identity for our community. Since the program began, the city has commissioned 14 original artworks for residents and visitors to enjoy. The art pieces are located in parks and public buildings throughout our city. They include a wide variety of mediums and materials, from paintings and mosaics to metal and stone sculptures. Two pieces are currently on display at City Hall. The Cross Timbers by Daniel Blagg is located in the lobby of City Hall. This oil painting was commissioned for North Richland Hills' 50th anniversary in 2003. It depicts one of the few Cross Timbers habitats remaining in Texas. Limited edition signed and numbered copies of the Cross Timbers may be purchased through the Parks and Recreation Department. A sculpture titled Integrity is located in front of City Hall. New Bronzeville sculptor Buster Graybill salvaged steel track segments from a U.S. military tank for this vertebrae-like piece. The welded sculpture evokes appreciation for our dedicated military men and women who are the backbone of America. Two art pieces are located at North Richland Hills Fire Stations. A bell tower by architect Tony Jeffrey is found in front of on High Tower Drive. This contemporary three spire bell tower combines fire service traditions with the modern state of the art fire station. With space for a life sized bronze figure to be added, the piece celebrates the spirit of our past and present firefighters. The protector is located in front of fire station number one on Shadywood Lane. The guardians of our safety and well-being are memorialized in this three-sided limestone piece by Dallas sculptor Eliseo Garcia. Firefighters, families, and a mother with her child represent those who deserve our gratitude for their efforts to protect and serve others. Public art pieces are also found in 10 North Richland Hills Parks. Family Train by Seppo Arnos is located in Dick Farron Park on Amundsen Drive. This metallic family, out for a day in the park, is constructed of maintenance-free core 10 steel, which weathers to a permanent brown patina. The imagination and humor of this piece is sure to make viewers smile. Another steel sculpture, Haiku Dancer, is located in Linda Spurlock Park on Glenview Drive. Sculptor Jerry Daniels' graceful piece virtually dances on the lake's surface, celebrating life. The nine-foot-tall, welded steel plate sculpture of the human form employs negative space to convey the artist's vision. Monument to Nature is located at Tommy and Sue Brown Park on Shadywood Lane. Dallas sculptor Eliseo Garcia's work incorporates nature, wildlife, and humanity, encouraging viewers to touch the massive piece. The monument was hand-carved from a single piece of Cordova limestone and weighs nine tons without the large cement base. Great Blue Heron is located in Founders Park on Brandon Court. Sculptor Darren Wright's larger-than-life bronze looks right at home nestled in the native tall grasses of the park. Even at close range, the lifelike sculpture captivates viewers of all ages and is easily mistaken for the real thing. Another bronze sculpture is located at Tips Canine Hollow at Northfield Park. This whimsical piece evokes memories of simple childhood pleasures. The engaging children and their faithful companion originally frolicked at North Hills Mall until being donated to the city in 2006. The artist and title of this piece is unknown. Under the Sea is found in Legacy Park at Foster Village Elementary School. Foster Village fourth graders helped environmental artist Vet design and install this mosaic mural. A Texas native, the muralist incorporated recycling awareness and arts education within her work. I Love New York City is located at Ace Park on North Richland Boulevard. A student of the hyper-realist movement, Dallas resident Michael Longhoffer's large-scale tribute to the Big Apple puts a contemporary twist on the urban landscape. The vibrant mural is carriage bolted to the wall adding to the industrial feel of the piece. The Veterans Monument is located in Liberty Park on Holiday Lane. Donna Doberfel's brick sculpture is a tribute to the sacrifices made by our military men and women in conflicts from World War I to the present. The plaza surrounding the monument includes inspirational inscriptions from historic figures. Pinwheel is located in Clyde Zellers Park at Snow Heights Elementary School. 
In this multi-piece installation, dimensional artist David Hickman's kinetic whirly gigs act like weather vanes to produce a sculptural ballet. The Gainesville native connects pinwheels to image discs with curved tubes, bringing to mind a shooting star. Wilder Interactive Sculpture is located at Cake Ranger Park at Mullendore Elementary School. Cast concrete is the medium of choice for this group of whimsical sculptures by artists Carol Lynn Wilder Ang and Charlotte Lindsay. Three stools and two curved walls, complete with peepholes, offer school children and adults a visual treat. The City of North Richland Hills has established a donations fund to help pay for the Art in Public Spaces program. If you are interested in contributing to this fund, please contact the Parks and Recreation Department at 817-427-6620. The City of North Richland Hills also has a loaned art program that allows area artists to display their work in a public setting with little expense to the city. At the end of a six-month to two-year period, the city has the option to purchase, continue to display, or return the artwork. Two pieces are currently on display through the Loaned Art Program. They are America's Fascination with Technology by Glenn Nerwin and The Ark by Andrew Arvantes. Both pieces are located on the Bedford Euless Road Greenway. We hope you've enjoyed this look at the many public art pieces that are on display in North Richland Hills. Thanks for watching. We look forward to seeing you next time here on City Cable Channel 27.